Our next uh, guest uh, stars on the popular television comedy entitled The New Adventures of Old Christine. The third season premieres February 4th at 9.30 right here on CBS. Here's the lovely Julia Louis-Dreyfus, ladies and gentlemen. Happy New Year. And to you, sir. So, so now the, the show is premiering in a, in a couple of weeks, really, February 3rd, right? Fourth. Fourth. Monday, 9.30. No, yeah. Third season beginning February 4th. Now, we are now, alive. Yeah. But uh, now, you, you did these shows before the Writers Guild strike. Is that I what did. it is? I did, yes. We, we, we had shot eight shows. We were in the middle of shooting episode number nine. Writers strike hit. We stopped shooting. Shut down. Yeah. Shut down mm -hmm. completely. And uh, I even joined... My writers on the picket line. Well, good for you. Thank That's you very nice. much. Sure. And that was uh, very exciting and uh, kind of invigorating. And we even went to a, a Desperate Housewives location shoot. Uh -huh. And we picketed there. We made quite a ruckus. Mm -hmm. And we shut them down. Oh, great. Wow. But it was a strange day for me because... <laughs> Because um, we got there, there were about 20 riders, yeah. and we were marching up and down. And, and, as, and as the day uh, went on, more and more riders joined. Mm. And we're making a huge ruckus, and they were th saying things like, Marsha, don't cross that picket line. No. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's good, yeah, right? It's, they're not riders for nothing. <laughs> you know? And listen to this one. Uh, we, we write the story of for Eva Longoria. <laughs> Wow. That was, that'll get them. That'll get them, right? <laughs> yeah. Take that, studios. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then they were just chanting things like, we've got Julia. Yes, we do. Come on, Felicity. How about you? Blah, blah, blah. Oh. So it was, very, it was very thrilling, as you can imagine, for me. And then what happened? Yeah, look Here, at that. Look at this. There you are, out there. <laughs> on the very day. Supporting your fellow writers. Yeah. yeah. Incidentally, incidentally, I showed that. That was... That picture was on the front page of the L.A. Times or something wow. like that, and my son saw it, and I, and I thought, oh, he's going to be so proud. Mm. There's Mommy picketing, being an activist. And he goes, oh, Mommy, that's a terrible picture. <laughs> <laughs> that's really all that counts that's at the end of counts. the day. sure. Yeah, and so then we're out there, we're picketing, we're making this huge ruckus, and then out comes... Eva Longoria. Mm. And she comes off of the shoot and she walks outside and she stands up there. And now let me tell you something. She is in full hair and makeup. Mm -hmm. Huge bling earrings. She looks, she's beautiful to yes. begin with. And she's really dolled up because she's been shooting. And I'm in my yoga pants and my solar power t shirt. And, <laughs> you know, I look like a, I don't know, <laughs> hag Norma Ray activist type. No. And she, yeah. She, really, and then she gets up there and she starts talking to the writers and saying how she's so upset and she doesn't wish to be doing this, but she's caught between a rock and a hard place and she starts to cry. Oh. And all these writers who have been, you know, I was the girl, you know, for like an hour mm -hmm. in there, and then all of a sudden, Eva, everyone's heart is breaking oh. for Eva. Yeah. And then she delivered pizza to, for everybody, and I, and there were cameras there, and I didn't have any makeup on. I mean, not even chapstick. <laughs> <laughs> is that strictly speaking makeup chapstick? I, I, I call it <laughs> yeah. makeup on the picket line. All right. And there, you can see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, I had my head down in uh -huh. that picture because I knew they were. <laughs> look, at, look at even my hair. Yeah. It's well, bad, right? But you're still doing the right thing, for heaven's sake. Yeah. God bless you. And I know the support meant a great deal and means a great deal to everybody involved. Uh, w was it last uh, a spring that you uh, delivered a commencement address at your old college? Yes, I did. I was, I, was, um, I was asked to be the commencement speaker at Northwestern University. Wow, now that's a lot of pressure. W one, because it's a lot of pressure. Two, Northwestern, we're not kidding around. That's a real deal. Yeah, we're not kidding around. And I should add, it was particularly ironic because I didn't, in fact, graduate from Northwestern. Ah. <laughs> So I, <laughs> oh, the, the pressure's off. <laughs> no, you don't have to worry about so, you know, that. I think a few people must have passed before they made their call to me. But uh, Who had done it the previous uh, year? Well, I'm afraid Barack Obama had done it the previous year. Well, you see. Yeah, so it was like Barack Obama, you know, future presidential yeah, hopeful right. and one of Jerry's but second no, 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 bananas. Look, you know? 
<laughs> Looking at it the other way, I mean, you're at that level. You know, and, and maybe they think, well, we're doing better this year than we did last year. You've got to look at it that way. I'm trying to look at it okay. that way. I'm trying to look at it did that way. Did you have way. a topic? Did you have a theme? What did you tell the Well, I, I took about a, a long time explaining to them why I was a bad choice to be the speaker. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that went over well. You know, self-deprecation seems sure. to work. Yeah. And then, uh, and then I gave them essentially three sort of uh, uh, words of wisdom or ideas, advice. And the first one was, now that you've got your education, go out and get educated, which right. I thought That's was true. a good sure. idea. That's uh, true, Another, uh, the second idea was to act. No, mm -hmm. I don't mean like act like an yeah, actress. Theatrical acting, but to, no, no, to be an I, activist. So no. Be active in be, your life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, right, exactly. Be an activist. And I gave each graduate a compact fluorescent light bulb as a symbol of activism mm -hmm. and change, you know, because they're energy efficient. Right. Now, do you have a deal, still have a deal with GE? Is that why you Oh, were? yeah. I get a couple yeah. million bucks a year for that. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, um, and then the third uh, piece of advice I gave them was don't be an ass. <laughs> That's great. In fact, uh, uh, you don't need the first two if you can just accomplish that. And that is not an easy task. No, it's not an easy task. Virtually impossible. Uh, the New Adventures of Old Christine, uh, the third season premieres February 4th at 9.30 right here on CBS. Thank you very much for that. Now, uh, <laughs> here, here's a, a question you get tired of and people ask when they, they're dumb, so I'll ask it. Oh, good. Uh, your, your comedy uh, is, your, is your life, really, and, and does it come from your life? Or ha have you moved to it? You know what I'm saying? What show am I on? Yeah, right exactly. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just trying to get some pie. Are you? <laughs> um, well, we're all trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on right now? Did this turned into another show. Awful. Just well, awful. First it was one show, then it was and another I'm, I'm trying, show, I'm and now be, it's a I'm third show. I'm to be thoughtful, for heaven's sakes. Huh. You know what I'm saying. Did, yes. Is it, did it surround you in, in uh, your family, in your upbringing? Or well, did... there, are a lot, there are a lot of funny women in my family. My grandmother, in particular, was very funny. Yeah. yeah. She, I mean, she was a drunk, but she was... Um... Well, really, because everybody yes. laughs, but that can be serious. Well, yes, it was quite serious, yeah. yes. But, did you, you know, know as a kid she was... A... No, no, she would be so funny. She was very sarcastic, and then she would fall over. <laughs> I'm totally not kidding. And, uh, a sarcastic and then, drunk, and then she would. Yeah, follow. and and uh, and also it's very incongruous because she's quite beautiful. So, <laughs> so she would just, you know, collapse, yeah. and and then everybody would be mad at her. And I was a little girl. I didn't know why would they be mad at Granny. Yeah, right. you know, she just fell. Yeah. <laughs> and then, it's sad, really. It is sad, it, but yeah. you know, I'm in fact, but I was very close to her, mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, you know, so to this day, that so, and she was a big smoker too. So this oh. the smell of scum Scotch and cigarettes just takes me back to a cozy time in my life. <laughs> it really That's does. Lovely. It's true, Dave. How, how old uh, did your grandmother live to be? Uh, Seventy something or other. So, well, that's not so bad for somebody who you know, hobby was smoking and drinking. Yeah, no right? kidding. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think she probably would have lived much longer. How are so. your kids, by the way? You mentioned them earlier. Oh, uh, they are? seem to be fine. Yeah, yeah they're, they uh, seem to be fine. The show uh, again, February fourth. Uh, good to have you back on the air. Good to see you back on the show. It's Thank so you very nice much. Nice to see you too. There Thank you are. You.